If you're a serious Catholic who's concerned about the state of affairs in the church and you have a knack for the great outdoors, then please consider spending a fall vacation with churchmilitant.tv at the Flying Bee Ranch. The wonderful owners of the Flying Bee Ranch have generously offered to sponsor a churchmilitant.tv retreat this fall, and we want you to be there. While being strengthened in the faith through a series of conferences from Michael Voris, you'll also have plenty of time to breathe that mountain air while horseback riding, fishing, or big game hunting. So please click the link to register today, and we'll see you out there at the Flying Bee Ranch. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. Last week, theologians from the Congregation for the Causes of Saints approved a miracle where an unborn child was healed thanks to the intercessory prayer of the late Pope Paul VI, bringing him closer to beatification. The miracle will have to be examined by more authorities before getting a final stamp of approval from Pope Francis. If these steps move quickly, Paul VI could be beatified in a few months. It appears an experimental technique that creates embryos with three biological parents will move toward approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, known as the FDA. The FDA will hold hearings today and tomorrow to figure out whether or not to allow the technique to be, empl to be employed to bring babies to life. Problems could arise if the procedure is approved. In addition to the moral issues, animals who have been created through this method have had major health problems. On Friday, a U.S. federal appeals court ruled Notre Dame must provide birth control to its students and employees, which will force it and Catholic colleges across the country to go against the religious beliefs. The court found Notre Dame hasn't shown there's a, quote, substantial burden in obeying the birth control mandate. Next month, two religious business owners will go before the Supreme Court to argue against the rule. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about the Filipino worm. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Hi there, Church Milton TV supporters. I'm Michael Voris. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. If you or someone you know is looking to sell or buy a home or a commercial property anywhere in the world, there's an amazing organization called Real Estate for Life that you should definitely check out. Real Estate for Life generously donates an average of $1,000 to churchmilitant.tv every time a home sale closes. It's a great way to support us here at CMTV. And don't forget, this comes at absolutely no cost to you. So please call or email Real Estate for Life today. All the information you need is in the description box. Michael Voris along with Rebecca Hasenauer for churchmilitant.tv. God love you.